creating model and attached detailed groups. Here I have a detail. This detail happens to be of a door jam. Uh, now, and first what we want to do to create a model and detail group, that's when we have a model and some detail information. We can take the two of them together and group them all as one unit. So here we have to select parts of the model and the detail first. So I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to select with a crossing window here. And I'm going to select everything in this detail. Now in the modify multi select I'm going to go over here to create group. When it finds that there's a model in detail selected, it'll bring up this dialog box. In here, I give it the model group name and I give it a detailed attached group name. So I like, you know, to name things like, you know, door jam model group and then I'd say door jam detail group. I just like to, to be a little anal on knowing which one is which. Uh, once I've created that, so I'll, I'll do that, door uh, jam model group, and I'll say it's a door jam detail group, and I'll say OK. And you notice if I go down into my groups down here, all right, and I go into the groups here, you'll see that I have a door jam model group, and it also has a door jam detail group attached to it. Now, uh, so we can find it down here. If we want to duplicate any one of these, I can pick it, I can right click, and I can actually duplicate this group and then rename it and give it a different uh, name if I like. Um, and so we can create these different models, uh, groupings and detail groupings as one unit and therefore we can then uh, go around and use them throughout our project. So we can create model and attach detail groups. Uh, first we have to have some detail work that we'll learn later and a model and we select them all and then we'll go up into modify and then we'll go to create group and it will detect then uh, that both are selected and give us a dialog box for that.